and welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie. I'm Swendy. Yes. We would like to do a, a fun video together. We kind of have the night to ourselves and um, Serenity and me were watching some of our Animal Wonders videos and you saw some videos with Paul and Taylor playing an animal game, right? And what did you think? I want to do like, I want to like it, but not the same. I want to do, I don't want to like do it, but I want to do kind of like what. So we put it out to you and we got some suggestions on what game Serenity could play. And we got a suggestion of doing one where she guessed the animal by just feeling, feeling them. So how are we going to make sure that you can't see them? A blindfold or I can just close my eyes. Oh, do you think you would peek if you closed your eyes? Yes. <laughs> If we put a blindfold on you, it's going to get really dark. Is it going to be too spooky for you? Mm -mm. No? Well, well, if I breathe, my whole face gets wet because I'm hot. Yeah, that does happen. Are you going to be okay with that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, are you going to be scared to touch an animal that you can't see? Me? No. No? What if it is on fire? <laughs> you think I'm going to have an animal on fire? Yes. What? <laughs> so, what happens if you guess wrong? Mm, you have to tell me about the animal. Ooh, I get to teach you about an animal? Okay, so what happens if you get it right? Then I get to tell you a couple things about that animal. Nice, you get to teach me about the animal. Ooh, I love it. Deal. <laughs> All right. So, should we get to it? Yes. Let's go. I'm kind of scared and then I'm happy. So we're going to start off with one of my favorite animals. Go ahead and put your hands out. I definitely know what that is. You definitely know who this is? Mm -hmm. Here, I think this might be blocking your, your mic. All right. Do you know who that is? The rat. You think this is a rat? Take mm -hmm. your blindfold off. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Good guess! So, how did you know that she was a rat? Because she's really soft. You see her little nails? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about her tail? <laughs> okay, so since you guessed correct, you get to teach me about rats. What do you know about rats? So, that they have those whiskers, so, so when because they can't see that well. And then so they put their cute little fur whiskers next to something so they know where they're going with the whiskers. Good job. Well done. That was a great fact. Do you know anything else about rats? It's tickling you with your nose. I just know they're really cute. So they do have sharp claws. Do you know why they have sharp claws? Because they climb, so they can climb trees. Well, yeah, they could climb trees. They could climb lots of different things. And they can, and so they can stick on, and then they can climb up you, up you. Yeah, good job. And they can tickle you. They are very good climbers. They are. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. All right, let's say goodbye, Lightning. Bye, Lightning. All right, we have our next animal, Serenity. You ready? All right, get a good feel. The tortoise. Oh my goodness. Let's take this off. You were so good! Wow! Excellent guesser! High five! Well done! So this is Yuka the red-footed tortoise. Serenity, since you guessed right, you get to teach me about this animal. So, so she has the hard shell, so if predators come, she can hide in the shell, and then they can't, and then the predator can't eat on the shell and then they leave. Good job. What does that feel like? A rock. She does feel like a rock. She's really hard. Do you have anything hard thing any hard things on your body? Yes. What's hard on your body? My head. <laughs> your head is really hard, you're right. There's bone under there that makes it nice and hard. Do you have anything else that's really hard on your body? Um well fingernails. Your fingernails feel feel your fingernail. 
They feel kind of like the same. You're right. And guess what? What? They're made out of the same thing. <laughs> it's called keratin. Do you want to try and say the word keratin? Keratin. Good job. Keratin. It's a really hard structure, and that is part of what makes her shell so tough, which you told me helps protect her from predators wanting to eat her, right? Yeah. She can just simply tuck her head all the way in. Yeah. But we Good can't fun. do that. No. Can you try and tuck your head into your shell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a good try. Good job. All right. Let's say goodbye to Yuka. Bye, Yuka. She's very cute. Ah. Get a little cutie. Cutie face. Okay. I'm back with this little cutie right here. I know what it is. You know what it is? Armadillo. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You're really good at this. Okay. So, you. this is Gaia, the three-banded armadillo. You teach me about armadillos now. You you are rocking it. So they're kind of like tortoises, but they're not because they have a little hard shell. Because when a predator tries to eat them, they cut them, <laughs> they cut up into a soft little ball, and then they can't eat him, and then they go away. You're right, but they're not quite like tortoises because what makes them different? Be because. The, the rounder and smaller. Sure. And when, put your hand on her. Does she feel warm? Yeah. She is a mammal, but she has the same kind of a shell as the tortoise. That's a reptile. That's cool. Very cool, huh? So what does she use these really big claws for? I don't know. Can you tell me? Sure. She uses them to dig, 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 dig. And what she's digging for is her favorite food, which is bugs. Neat, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. good job. All right, we're going to let Gaia head on back. She's saying, let me down. I need to run around. It is nighttime, right? It's nighttime right now, and that's when she's awake, so she's very active. All right, last thing I want you to do is actually smell her. <laughs> Does she smell delicious? No. Does she smell like roses? No. Does she smell like chocolate cake? Yes. What? <laughs> what does she smell like? Pee. <laughs> she kind of smells like pee. Ready? Mm-hmm. A snake. Good job. Whoa! Yeah. What are you doing? Ah, yeah, <laughs> take it off my phone. She's like, he's like a crown. Go on. You can take your blindfold off. Uh, he has crawled through your curls. <laughs> <laughs> Is he stuck oh there? No. Oh, I got his tail. Yeah. Oh. Good job. This is Saffron. And Saffron is doing a wonderful job. I'm just going to let him climb on through here. He's really cozy with you. He likes it. Are you, com are you comfortable? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Saffron is a corn snake. Tell me something that you know about snakes. They have really long bodies. Oh, you're right. A lot of people think that snakes have really long tails, but that's not true. His tail actually starts right there. And the rest of this is his body. There he goes. Why is he trying to lick your nose? Me because he's trying to smell me if if I'm like smell like a mouse. Serenity, you are doing an excellent job holding saffron. Well done. So the way that you hold the snake is that you need to support their body. Don't grab a hold of them; it makes them feel really nervous. And uh, just give them those long arms and open hands to be able to lay their long bodies on. Do you feel comfortable holding him? Yeah. It, yeah. It feels good on my neck. Right? Around there, a lot of people get nervous about snakes around their neck, but he is not going to try and constrict you. And if he did start going around your neck, we would just simply unwrap him and give him more arms to lay on. He's really neat. Good job. Should we say goodbye to him? Yeah. He's all wrapped around your armpit and everything. Goodbye. Let's untangle him. Zoop, zoop. Oh, <laughs> Well done! Bye, Snaffron. Snaffron? <laughs> Are you ready for this next animal? Mm -hmm. Reach over here and pet down. Pet, there you go. I don't know what that is. You don't know what she is? Heather, my guess is a monkey. A monkey? My goodness. Come on out. Ah! <laughs> Serafina! Serafina, what is Serafina? A fox. She's a fox, you're right! Serafina is almost 11 years old, so normally I wouldn't let you get this close to a fox, right? 
yeah, we, we're pretty hands off with kids with the fox because they can be dangerous. But since Serafina is so old, she has really calmed down. Have you ever touched Serafina before? No. No, you haven't. So this is our first one. So I'm not surprised that you didn't get it right. All right, so what kind of fox is Serafina? Do you know? Uh, a red fox. She is a red fox, good job. So red foxes have these huge ears to help them listen for their prey, like a little mouse hiding in the grass or underneath the snow. Now they also have a really good sense of smell and they use their sense of smell to do what? Look for prey. Yeah, so they can smell if a little mouse is under the snow or something and they can get them. So Serafina is in her winter fur right now and let's see if you can see her big fluffy tail. Look at that gigantic tail. They have super, super thick fur in the winter time so that they can stay nice and warm and they actually don't live in a den in the winter time. They just run around catching prey and when they need to sleep or when they get too cold, they just curl up right on the snow and use their tail to do what, do you know? Make it like a little blanket. You're right, like a little blanket and they kind of cover up their face with their warm fluffy fur on their tail and they stay nice and warm. All right, girl, girl, let's head on back. Bye bye. Holy cow, Serenity, good job, that was amazing. You knew so many of those, congratulations, high five. You get like five gold stars. <laughs> Do you like animals? Yes. Yeah, you do. You've been helping me a lot with the animals, haven't you? Mm-hmm, yeah. So I was excited to be able to make a video with her today, and we got to play a game. She's been wanting to play a game like this for, for a while now, so I'm glad we got to. And you did really good. But because I do fit, no, no, the foxes, because the fox feel like your hair. <laughs> it felt like my hair? Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so how did you guess so many animals? Be because I, kn I know the animals and I remembered, but, but I thought the sugar gliders and what's that little thing that has a hard thing? Not the tortoise. Armadillo? Yeah, armadillo and sugar gliders. I, I, I was scared I was going to mix the, those two up. You thought you were going to mix up a sugar glider and an armadillo? Because they kind of like the same. They're not the same at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said I was going to mix it up, and I said I was going to say the wrong one. You're so silly. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah, you were really good at guessing all of the animals. How did you get so good? Be, be, because I've been watching you videos, and I like them. Oh, my goodness. You really like animals, huh? Yeah, you're really good with them. Serenity has been helping me more and more and more with the animals. She's almost six years old and she has become very respectful and loving towards the animals. So she's been spending more and more time and learning more and more about them. It's been really fun. Thank you. <laughs> um, so any last words that you want to say to anyone? Bye, I hope you like animals. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.